Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this today, and a couple of people have answered her, and she wanted to make the lines or the ropes thicker so it won't be so fragile. So I just took her clip art, or their, I'm sorry, their clip art. I don't know who posted it. I'm going to left click, right click, and get an outline. And then you need to kind of determine how thick these lines are. So let's zoom in using the parallel dimension tool. And you can see it clicks on that edge to that edge. And they are only 0 0.02 of an inch, which would be really thin. And then somebody also commented that you probably need to connect the lines and or her wings and maybe the feet to make it from breaking. And also, I've kind of skewed this one elongated. This, to me, doesn't look like a good crescent moon as good as this, so I would skew it for that viewer. And I've got a yellow box that I'm going to take away because I just did it to get the background away. But skew it a little bit up and down, and it, it looks more rounded to me more like a crescent moon would be. And then get your shape tool and let's get rid of these nodes that we do not need. And I'll show you in just a second how that's gonna work. We don't need these nodes and it looks like it's collapsed and it has. But if we take their shape tool and select on that one, hold down the shift and select that one, and then right click and turn them into a line, you can see they kind of went back. And we'll actually take rid of that one and now we're going to select this one hold down the shift key and select this one and turn it into a line well maybe it already is a line let's select this one holding down the shift key i moved it a little bit and let's right click and turn those into a line now we've we've already made this one a little bit thicker Let's try this again. No, it wasn't a line. So now we've got these a little bit thicker at the bottom, and that was, really wasn't what I was planning on. But let's take and let's just move our hand in a little bit. And you could curve this around and, and make it look more like a hand. And then all you have to do is set your nudge distance on something pretty low, 0 0.02, which would be double the thickness that you had. And take your shape tool and collect that node and just cursor it over. Then maybe even bring it down a little bit to make it look more in line. You only have to do one direction because you're, um, you're making it doubly thick. And really, we're already done because it's pretty much doubly thick both directions with the exception of these lower lines. So we'll do the same thing here. But this time, instead of converting to a line, we're just going to grab these well you can't really grab those unless you use alternate key so we're just going to use the shift key and let's just move those over now that looks a little funny so let's get rid of that node and see what happens and that worked let's grab these two and just shift them over and that really looks pretty good you could play around with your make the rope look a little bit better same thing here we're just going to grab the one and move it over Grab this one and move it over. And you could play with this quite a bit. And I do agree with the viewer in the to move these lines or these wings over. Because this is going to be really fragile. And we've actually made this line not quite as thick as the one on top. But you can move them manually and do whatever you want to with it as you're drawing. And but then I would to make these wings longer. I would just grab these outer nodes and just swing them out. Maybe even thicken them up a little bit. Make them look more like a wing. We could probably get rid of that node. The last node you have, to me, it's going to look better. It's going to give your laser a little bit better cut. And we're almost there. We're going to get rid of this node here. And that node there, maybe even give this one a little bit of a curve. And then just instead of welding, just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And that's going to make it quite a bit stronger. I would suggest the foot 
but that's going to be a little stretch of the imagination to make that leg that long. So you could try this out and depending on your size and then just take your smart fill tool and fill it in and then move your smart fill away and right click or left click, right click and get you back to a hairline. I think it looks better than the original. Well, of course, that's my opinion. But the lines are definitely thicker. And it looks more like a crescent moon. This looks like a, the inside part almost looks like an egg. And this would be a little bit stronger. <clears throat> I would consider bringing that foot down to give you something to, and it all depends on how big this is and what you're going to do. If you're inlaying it into something, maybe not so much. But if you're making like an earring or something, this foot's going to break off or it's going to cause that to break. But there's a way around that. You can make the inner part of the, the moon a little less of a crescent. But that would be your opinion and your... So give that a try. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.